Are you always running out of room in your item bag, whether you have 300 or 3000 space? Let me help you out. What's up guys, today we're gonna learn how to manage our bag. I'm gonna go through the process of how I manage my bag and how I keep everything nice and organized. Before we start though, I wanna make sure you guys know that the bag space is probably one of the best things you can upgrade and use your coins on in the game. The bigger the bag you have, the more Pokeballs you can hold and the more Pokemon you can catch. So if you're ever gonna upgrade something and you have the choice for item bag or Pokemon storage, always go with your item bag first, I would recommend. You can really never have too many Pokeballs or items in this game. Okay, so number one here is how to manage potions. For me, what I recommend for you guys is only keeping the pink and the blue potions. Hyper potions and max potions will pretty much heal anything to max in the game. The other potions will take so long to heal. It's just not worth the item bag space for the amount of heals you get. The only thing a hyper potion can't do that a max potion can do is fully heal a Blissey at really low HP. But other than that, the hyper potions will heal pretty much any Pokemon in the game. However, note if you're always running out of potions and you're always just using them really quickly, instead of deleting them, just use them instead. Deleting is like using, but you're getting a benefit as well. So if you have a bunch of regular purple potions and you have a bunch of dead Pokemon, just spam those potions until you run out of them and then dip into your pink and blue potions. Also, as far as revives and max revives go, I keep both of them because I find these are kind of harder to get than potions. Max revives are harder to find. I'll only use these in dire situations where I need to heal quickly, but if you're just healing your bag, just use a regular revive and a potion and you'll be a lot better. Note, if you do a bunch of raids and raid a lot, you probably don't need to keep that many potions. That's why I don't have that many in my bag because you're always constantly getting them from raids, so it's not a big deal. But if you're just doing rocket battles or barely raid, very very often and keep a bunch of potions so you can make sure you're able to heal those Pokemon because you're not gonna be getting as much in your bag. TMs, which is the next thing we're gonna touch on. Fast TMs and charge TMs. Rule number one is always keep more charge TMs than fast TMs. It's a lot harder to get the move you want with a charge TM. Usually Pokemon will have a lot bigger of a move pool compared to a fast TM where usually they only have one to two fast moves that you can switch between. It's pretty simple as well as elite fast and elite charge TM. Never delete these. These are really rare and the game will let you learn a legacy move, which is a move that you can only get from a past event. Unless you know what Pokemon you want to use it on, just keep them in your bag. They don't take a lot of space and then they'll be there for when you want to use them. The way you get TMs is going to be from raids and from PvP. But all I'm going to tell you is you don't need that many fast TMs and you need a lot more charge TMs than you need fast TMs. I like to keep around 100 charge and 50 fast TMs. Right now I have a bit extra, but that's for me with a maxed out bag. We're going to touch on premium items. So like remote passes, star pieces, lucky eggs, which I don't have any right now. Incenses. Keep all of these. These are pretty much like paid items pretty much. You have to usually pay to get these items you can't just get them for free at pokestops so really there's like no reason to delete these because you're because you just be deleting money probably most of you don't have a lot of these so it won't be that big on your bag storage but if it is eating into your bag storage instead of deleting them just use them there's no reason to delete a star piece when you can just turn on a star piece even if you're only gonna catch five pokemon on that star piece you're getting more stardust and at least you didn't just lose that paid item so yeah honestly just keep these in your bag there's no reason to delete them and then if you ever are running low just like throw on an incense why not see if you can get a shot shiny, no need to delete. Moving on to rare candy. This can be a big bag eater for a lot of people. What I usually do with rare candies, I'll never go over like 100 to 200 rare candies. I made a video on the Pokemon you want to put your rare candies in, but always just put them into legendaries or rare Pokemon. If you have like 200 rare candies, 100 rare candies, and you're overflowing your bag and you need space, just search up Mewtwo or search up Rayquaza or search up Garchomp, any rare Pokemon, and just throw them into there. At one point or another, you're going to need candy for those Pokemon if you want to power one up. Since this is literally the only way to get legendary candy, other than doing raids, there's no shame in throwing rare candy into a legendary when you're low on bag space. As far as gifts go, gifts don't take a lot of space. Just make sure you keep sending them out to all your friends. Honestly, I wouldn't delete gifts. I would send them instead, but I've never had a problem with gifts. Pokeballs, keep them all. If you have a lot of Pokeballs, that means you have to go catch a lot of Pokemon. And the game is telling you that you haven't been out catching Pokemon in a long time. How I like to use my Pokeballs is I have the red balls, which are the Pokeballs I don't have any right now. And I use them with my gotcha. If you don't know what a gotcha is, it's an auto catcher and it can only use red Pokeballs. I'll make a better video on it soon for more details. The Great Balls I will use when I'm out of Red Balls. So right now I am using Great Balls while I'll spin stops and stock up back on Red Balls. And the Ultra Balls I'll only use during big events where there's rare Pokemon spawning that I don't want running away. Like Community Day events and the Go Fest, etc, etc. As far as lures go, again, these are a premium items, so no reason to get rid of them. If for some reason these are eating up your bag space, which I doubt they will, I'm only holding three. They're really rare and you have to pay for them. Throw one on 
Pokemon might as well and see if you can get yourself a good Pokemon. Now we're moving on to berries. The only berries I recommend you keep are pineapps, silver pineapps, and golden razes, and maybe raspberries. Some people are usually struggling on bag space, and I find berries are the easiest way to get more space. Clearing all your raspberries, raspberries are not that useful. Golden razes will do a, the job better. However, not everyone has 170 golden raspberries because they raid a lot. So if you don't raid a lot and have this many, just keep raspberries as well as golden raspberries. There's no reason to keep nana berries. They're the most useless berry. All they'll do is make the Pokemon stop moving, but usually it's pretty easy to hit a Pokemon no matter what, and they don't increase cash chance. So just delete those every time you get them or feed them to your buddy if you want to get rid of them. Pineapps are super useful. Double the candy on any catch. I usually keep my pineapps for big events where there's a Pokemon spawning in the wild that I want to get a lot of candy on. For example, if Gibble was to spawn in the wild in some upcoming event. And silver pineapps are super rare of a berry, and these will do what pineapps do, but also add a golden raz, combine those effects together. So it doubles the candy and also helps the catch chance. Pretty much these are the three berries I keep. So keep as many as these three berries as you can, and then keep raspberries if you don't have a lot of golden raspberries. This is what I recommend for you guys. Remember, if you have a lot of berries and you want to get rid of them, either dump them into gyms. Dumping berries into a gym of your color and feeding the Pokemon in that gym can get you Stardust and candy for the Pokemon you're feeding, or just feed it to your buddy, and this will get your buddy on the map and get hearts with your buddy. So those are good ways to get rid of berries if you don't want to actually delete them directly. Finally, evolutionary items here at the bottom. I just keep a lot of these. You get to a point where you're never going to run through that many items, and that point you can delete them, like 16 metal coats. I don't know if I'm ever going to go through 16 metal coats, but for me, they don't take a lot of space, so I just keep them. The, the only two I would make sure you keep a lot of are Unova and Sinnoh stones. Obviously, I don't have Sinnoh stones right now because I just did a bunch of evolutions, but Sinnoh stones and Unova stones are not only hard to get, are used to evolve like a variety of Pokemon. I think there's like 20 Pokemon you can evolve with Sinnoh stones. So make sure you keep a lot more of those. So yeah, honestly, I recommend just keeping all of these. These are pretty rare items to get. And if you ever are out of them and you want to go get one, it's going to take you a while. It's not like a Pokeball where you can go spin a stop and get a bunch of them. If you want to go get a King's Rock and you have none, probably going to take you a while and a lot of luck. So yeah, honestly, just keep a lot of these unless you have like over like 100 Dragon Scales and yeah, delete them. If you want a benchmark for a number to keep most of them at, I would say 10 is a fine number to keep them at. As far as Sinnoh Stones go though, I would keep as many as you can, as well as Unifa Stones. I just want you guys to remember if you ever have a lot of something and you're going to delete it, instead of deleting it, just use it. There's no harm in feeding a gym a bunch of berries instead of deleting them. Obviously, it might take an extra five minutes instead of just a quick delete. But then you will be still getting the advantages of the item, but also getting what you want, which is more bag space at the same time. That's pretty much the video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this, if you ever have struggles with your bag and any questions you might have. Question of the day for you guys is what do you struggle most with bag management? What items are taking the most space? I would love to know in the comments below. For me, it's probably usually my Pokeballs will take the most space, which is a good thing because I like to have a lot of Pokeballs so I can always be catching Pokemon. Honestly, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.